going to talk about something that's seemingly becoming part of the news today, and it's called the subject of polygyny. Now, I want to discuss this because we want to talk about whether or not this is biblical or not. Not the fact that whether you or I agree with it, but is this biblical? We must talk about this because there's so many people that want to say, and I'll tell you where I was in the beginning. In the beginning, when you, uh, I, was, I was Christianized, so when it was easy for somebody to tell me something that was the Christian answer. And the Christian answer is what Paul said, which basically tells you about having one wife. And, and, and we have to understand that in the beginning, there were certain people in the biblical Bible that we can pull up evidence that had multiple wives. So we're going to start off with the scripture, which is Deuteronomy chapter 21, verse 15. Now we've got to understand the book of Deuteronomy is part of the law. So you can argue with me whatever you want to say, whatever scam you want to try to give me what Paul said later. Let's talk about the law. And in verse 15, he says, if a man have two women, one beloved and another hated, and they have borne him children, both the beloved and the hated. And if the firstborn son be hers, that was hated. So it was established from the beginning of time back in the law that a man was able to be able to have more than one wife. So we can, regardless of how we feel about it, this is what it was. Now, do I agree with it? No way. And the reason I disagree with it is because every single biblical character that you look at in the Bible that tried to make it with multiple women, they had a bunch of extra stress that came along with it. There was never an easy ride. I don't care if you look at Abraham, when you take a look at Sarah and Abraham and you look at uh, Hagar, those two, there was strife there. There was strife. In fact, Sarah, you know, it, it talks about it. In the Bible, how Sarah was really, really rough with Hagar on several occasions. So we must understand that it was never easy for multiple women. We take a look at King Solomon. Explain to me how this guy, who was the wisest man that ever lived, fell. And the scripture is plain because he got wrapped up with all of these different sets of buns. So again, you can say to me all day long, this was authorized by the Most High, but we've got to take a look at the situations that arose with these multiple sets of buns, okay? Now, after we looked at that scripture, let's now take a peek at the actual description and definition of the, uh, the, the two terms that we're talking about. Now let's talk about polygyny first because polygyny is the one that we must take a look at. Now, polygamy is described as which a man has more than one wife. A polyg polygyny, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Polygyny is a description of a man that has more than one wife. But polygamy is a description of a man or a woman that has uh, more than one wife. And so we've got to understand, let's, let's take a look at that. Um, so I can make sure that I'm saying this right here. Let's see here. Let's take a look at the word polygamy. So the word polygamy comes up with the practice or custom of having more than one wife or husband at the same time. Now, here's where polygamy falls apart. Because there is nowhere in the scripture where the most high sanctioned a woman to have more than one husband. Okay? So you can argue with me all day long about how you feel about it. You take it up with the most high. But anywhere in the, in the scripture where adultery is defined in a negative light, it's speaking of a woman who slept, uh, who slept with someone outside of her husband. Now, we're talking about scripture now, so I don't care how you might feel about it, how you might uh, you might be mad at me. I don't really give a damn. I don't come to do these things because of what you may feel. We're looking at the facts. And polygamy is described as a man or a woman having multiple spouses. And that is not what the Bible okayed. 
Now we see several instances of the word polygyny, which describes the man having more than one wife. Now, let me explain to you young brothers today to think that that's cool. Because again, there was a process and there was a reason behind it. The Most High didn't just give you a bunch of sets of buns so you can just have your free fall. You had been with these women to produce seed. So that means you were with these women to have children. So if you're not going around here talking about having multiple wives in, play, in, 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 in reference to you reproducing and having a family, with these women, then I don't even want you talking to me because that tells me that you just have a lust demon that you have a problem with and you just don't, you're getting sick of the one that you're married to and you wanna have multiple. And ultimately that is not what the Bible says. Solomon tried that. He got with multiple sets of buns just because of what the buns look like and those buns led him astray. So again, don't think because he okayed polygyny that any and everybody gets to just have every set of buns that they want. Again, that it did not include uh, uh, threesomes and all this stuff that you guys are thinking in your mind with your sick, perverted heads. No, you had to be able to physically take care of two women. Now, I don't know about you, I can't afford to, no way, no way, absolutely not. I wouldn't even want that extra responsibility, but, Financially, if you could support more than one wife, and I mean physically support that woman, have children with that woman, then the Bible did say or did okay a man having multiple women. We just looked at this. We just looked at it. We looked at the law. I didn't make up nothing. I took you to Deuteronomy, and I'm going to take you back there again just so you can see it with your own eyes. This is what Moses wrote. So again, we can talk about me, you can talk about how you feel, how I feel, it doesn't matter. What does the law say? And Deuteronomy 21, verse 15 says, if a man have two women. So don't give me that the Bible did not okay polygyny. It did okay polygyny. It did not okay polygamy because polygamy okays a woman to have multiple men. And according to the Bible, a woman with multiple men was not considered a uh, anointed woman. She was considered a Jezebel. And the description of a Jezebel is your modern day hooker, your modern day skank standing on the corner. That's what she was considered. So don't get this twisted here. The Bible was clear that polygyny was okay for the man. But I just broke down to you what it was to be in a polygynous situation. So don't give me, oh, I just want to have multiple women. Get out of here. You have a problem and you need to fix your problem because you made a commitment to one and that commitment does not die because you want to add multiple. Like, share, comment. I am the minister, ML Kimball. That is the episode of Word on the Street tonight. Thank you.